Hello and welcome to another watercolor lesson on Jana watercolor. Today we are going to look at mixing colors on palette, mixing colors on the paper and glazing. I hope that a better understanding of these basic techniques help you in your journey of watercolor. So let's get started. First we'll start off with the most basic technique which is mixing colors on the palette. So this is the most basic technique that you would learn when you start painting in watercolors. So here we just mix the colors that we want in the palette in the amount that we need before adding it to the paper. So I have come up with a nice uh, grey by mixing raw sienna and ultramarine blue. Then I just fill in the area that I want to. The next technique that I want to try out is mixing colors on the paper. So compared to mixing colors on the palette, this gives us an unpredictable results. But this is a technique that makes our painting look much more vibrant and spontaneous and interesting. So I'll start off with uh, raw sienna as my first wash i haven't added any ultramarine blue to it yet so first i just paint with pure ultra uh, pure raw sienna then whilst it's still wet i add a bit of ultramarine blue into the wet wash and i want both of them to mix on the paper So this technique, it's a bit difficult to control the outcome, but you would have realized by now that it, it, it creates kind of a glow and an interesting effect compared to just mixing the colors on the paper. So glazing is not a color mixing technique, but laying one color over another color which has dried thoroughly, we kind of uh, get an illusion of uh, mixing two colors. So what we'll do is first we'll add raw sienna just like we did in the previous uh, technique of mixing on paper. So we'll just add raw sienna and then we'll completely dry it before adding the blue. Now the first wash is completely dry. So what I'm going to do next is uh, add a thin wash of ultramarine blue on top. With glazing, we have a much better control compared to mixing colors on the palette. Now what we'll do is uh, we'll take a painting that I did earlier and try to figure out where I have used all three of these effects. So the first one is uh, mixing on the palette. So that's, that's the most common way of mixing color and you can find it pretty much everywhere. So I don't use any of the colors from the tubes directly. So pretty much everything over here, here, everything is mixed on the palette. 
I think this is a uh, cobalt blue mixed with a bit of cerulean blue if I remember correctly and this is raw sienna and a bit of uh, burnt sienna as well so all of these were mixed on the palette and applied and same goes to the green as well and uh, when we consider mixing on the paper uh, there are quite a few areas in this painting as well where I have mixed on the paper. Over here, uh, whilst the green was still wet, I run a bit of blue into it and let it mingle with the green. You can find that over here where I have mixed colors on the paper. The same goes over here as well. Whilst the brown was still wet, I added a bit of purple here. And both the colors mixed and created this nice effect over here. So that's mixing on the paper. And the third way of mixing color, or rather uh, what we call as glazing, is used uh, in quite a few places. One example is over here. The lighter brown was dry when I glazed over with much darker brown over here. And if I remember correctly, I, I glazed over some parts of these uh, bales with a bit of purple as well while after the initial wash was dry. So that's glazing. Pretty much all the paintings I do have all these three ways of color mixing in them. Mixing on the palette is the most uh, common thing, but if you, want, if you want to take your painting to the next level or add a bit more interest, one thing that you should really focus on is mixing on the paper and glazing. As you can see, it's, it's, it looks more vibrant and more interesting compared to the colors that we mix on the palette. So hope you enjoyed this uh, quick lesson on mixing colors and Hope to see you in another video. Thank you.